Well, we're glad to have you with us today on the Bible Speaks. Now, we've been looking the uh, last couple of messages on confusion. And we've looked at confusion in the church, and we've looked at confusion uh, in um, uh, the home. And, and all of that really starts with confusion in the heart of individuals. And so we see again in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33, the Bible says, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. And, and so we see again that any confusion, uh, whether it's in an individual's heart, whether it's in the church, or it's in the home, really whether it's anyone in the world, God's not the author of confusion. Uh, Satan is the one that creates the confusion. And, and really... All the confusion, we, we could try to break it down, as we've said, in the home or in the church, or, or you might even expand that out and say in the government or uh, whatever workplace, whatever you wanted to. All of that confusion starts from being confused in the heart and the heart of man. And, and so we want to look at a couple of things about how not to have confusion in the heart and, and where it comes from. So the first uh, text we want to go to here uh, is James chapter 3 and verse number 13, and we'll read through verse number uh, 18. It says this, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, uh, uh, for God cannot be tempted of evil, neither tempted of any man, but every man is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Now there's a great truth. All of us uh, are are tempted uh, by our own lust. Uh, we're not tempted by uh, something else. We're tempted by our own lust. And, and then we find in verse 15, And then lust when it's conceived, uh, bring forth sin. Sin was finished, bring forth death. Uh, do not err, my beloved brethren. Uh, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither the shadow of turning. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Now, uh, we, we find that in, in James, it's actually uh, James chapter 1, verses 13 through 18, uh, and we find a great truth there. Uh, God wants to give us these gifts that come from on high, that's the Father of lights. There's no variables, no shadow of turning, and, and, and so He wants us to have those things in our hearts. And then we, we do have to be careful about the, uh, all of our sin comes from our own lust, our own heart. Now, there's a couple of things about the heart that I, I want to sort of bring out here. Uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 17 and uh, verse number 9, uh, there, there's a great truth here. And uh, uh, here we, we find it says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Uh, there, there's a truth that each one of us needs to recognize about our own heart. Uh, we, we, we like to be full of pride. And we like to act like that, that we, our hearts are, are not that way. Uh, we, we would like to think that we have sort of um, uh, matured spiritually maybe or that we have uh, grown past that. But the truth of the matter is uh, I, I need to be careful about my heart and you need to be careful about your heart. The, the heart is desperately wicked and who can know it? Uh, that, that's how come that the three things that we fall into, uh, the, the pride of life, the lust of flesh and the lust of, uh, of the eyes, that, that, that all that comes from the heart, and, and it comes from where we're at. And, and, and so i got to be careful about just uh, trusting my own heart. Now, there's another passage, because the heart's desperately wicked, mine, yours, uh, everyone's, and I've got to know that. Then we, we find another passage that sort of really backs that principle up in Proverbs uh, chapter 18, verses 1 and 2. And in Proverbs chapter 18, uh, verse 1, it says, Through desire, a man having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth of all wisdom. Uh, verse 1 is, is saying, hey, listen, we, we're going to intermeddle, intermeddle. We're going to desire and seek after wisdom. By the way, that's the Word of God. Uh, the, the greatest wisdom that any of us can find uh, is the Word of God. And so I've got to have a desire, you've got to have a desire to find out what the Word of God says. And the Word of God is what's going to guide me. And the Word of God is going to guide me into peace and contentment. It's going to guide me away from sin. It's going to, by the way, guide me away from the destruction of Satan in the world, in my own flesh. But verse 2 says, says this, A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. Now that's an interesting passage talking about the heart. 
He says, now, a fool has no delight in wisdom. He, he doesn't care what the Bible says. Uh, the fear of the Lord is being of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Uh, and so, so a fool has no desire to find out what the Bible says. He's against that. Uh, if it's a woman, she's against that. And, and then he makes the statement uh, at the end of that verse that his heart may discover itself. Now, that's an interesting thing that God is saying to us here. He's saying, now listen, uh, the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? And he says, you know what your heart's wanting to do? Your heart is wanting to discover itself. It's wanting to find out what it enjoys. It wants to find out what it likes. Now, it's desperately wicked. And, and so oftentimes I, I deal with folks and I hear people say, well, you know, I, I, I'm just going to try to find myself. That's a very, very dangerous statement. Uh, what you're trying to say is, I, I'm, I'm not going to find out what the Bible says for me to do. I'm not going to seek what God says. I, I'm going to seek what my heart enjoys. And uh, by the way, uh, it, it's not going to be wisdom. It, it's going to be something totally different. And so you have to yield yourself uh, to the will of God. You have to recognize that uh, the heart is desperately wicked. But you have to recognize God wants to give you the truth. Now then, uh, let, let's look at another passage and sort of solidify this. Go to Romans chapter uh, 7. And in Romans chapter 7, we'll begin reading uh, here in, in verse number 14. Uh, For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Now here the, uh, the Apostle Paul to the church at Rome is, is dividing out a couple things. He says, now, the law is spiritual. In other words, it comes uh, from God. Uh, it is spiritual. But we are carnal. And then he says, I'm sold under sin. Now the next verse he says, uh, For that which I do I allow not, for what I would that I do not, but what I hate that I do. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. He, he says, now listen, I, I find a battle that when I would do good, I do sin, and the things I hate, that's what I end up doing. And, and so during my actions consent that I need the law. I need the law to guide me and direct me and teach me. And, and, and so does all of us. Well, then the next part of this, Paul continues. In verse 18, he says, For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would I do not, but the evil which I would, I would not that I do. Now if I do that I would not, is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Now he, he's made that statement twice. He has said, uh, well, I just have this hard time. I had to fight myself all the time. By the way, all of us do. And it's our heart. And so I have to recognize that I've got this daily battle. And the only way to win that battle is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul finishes this by saying, uh, I find then the law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. That's our soul. But I see another law in my members warning against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. O oh, wretched man that I am, who should deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. I have to yield myself daily to God. You have to yield yourself daily to God. If you do not, there will be confusion in your heart. And you'll find that your heart will guide you and you will discover your heart. And in discovering your heart, you'll find yourself where the great Apostle Paul was here. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? And so the truth of the matter is tonight, each one of us must bear in mind that there's confusion in our heart. It's not from the external things around us, but it's from our own heart trying to discover itself. So I must die daily, yield myself to Christ daily, and I must seek the wisdom of this blessed old book so that I can have a heart that is yielded to God, not a heart that is trying to discover itself. There is confusion in our churches, in our homes, but it starts with confusion in our hearts. If we get that straight, our homes are straightened out, and so would our churches. Thank you for listening to The Bible Speaks.